YouTube, it's that and the Unshown here again. So what's going on tonight is I have a nail in my tire or a screw. This sucks. Oh, I don't know if y'all can see it. Right there. Um, I just drove all the way home on it, so it's not too bad, but I flattened it out. Um, I'm going to take the wheel off, I'm going to take it inside, and we're going to plug it. And I'm going to show you in this video how you plug a uh, tire in a car. So, um, I'm going to get this tire off of here, and uh, bring it inside. And once I get it inside, I'll be back with y'all. So, see you in just a minute. Alright guys, we got the wheel in here. Let's see. Um, Got a little tripod set up, I guess. First thing we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to remove this screw. Probably gonna need a fly head and a pair of needle nose pliers. What you're gonna need is a uh, this is a like a tar plug and a rammer. You can buy this little kit from Walmart. It's pretty cool. It uh, comes with these little CO2 cartridges, a uh, tire pressure gauge, some uh, tire plugs, and this really cool little. Uh, um, CO2 thingy majiggy screw together and it airs the tire up. It's pretty neat and convenient in case you know you have an emergency. But uh, now that we got this loose, I want to have this uh, close by hand so I can get, you know, plug it easily. So, uh, by the way, happy 420. Explosive shot now. So the first thing you're gonna do is you take the reamer, and you're gonna ream the hole when you get it out of there about five or six, seven times. Get it all cleaned out real good. And then you're gonna take the plug, jam it down in there, and you'll fit. Take this. Two. Ready? Take your out. You're going to push it in to about a half an inch is sticking out of the uh, the plug. Pussy. <sighs> <sighs> All right, we're going to try to help this thing in there with a hammer of some sort because obviously I'm too weak. Say hi, me. You say hi to YouTube. Hi, me. Say hi. Say hi to the camera. Say hi. Mm. Yeah, it would have been easier if I would have let the air out already. Let the air out. I don't know why I do that. 
Valve stem remover. To remove the valve stem, it's really a uh, pretty plain device. It has a little slit right here. Hopefully, you can see that. You stick it in the spot you put the air in, and you turn it counterclockwise, and it comes out. And this is your valve stem. Little thing, you put it in, air goes in, it goes out, air stays in. Pretty basic device. You get in there, you have about an inch or half inch hanging out. You just give it a nice yank and it should come out. There we go. And now your plug's in your tire. Then you're going to cut it off with a razor blade, which we have to get out of the car. Whew, that was a pain in the cock to get in there. Let me go get a razor blade, and I'll be right back. Razor blade and just trim it off there. Maybe about a half, I don't know, a centimeter or so hanging out. And that's how you plug a tire on a car, ATV, or any other tubeless. Vehicle. Hopefully that holds. Now you're gonna put your valve stem back in. Get your valve stem thing of a jigger. Screw it back in there. Back up. Just because, uh, why not? I'm going to show you how this thing works once. You're going to want to turn the nozzle. Hopefully, you can see this. Let me, let me get closer. Let me get closer. Make sure you can see this. Make sure you can get the shot. See, it says open and it says closed. Closed is this way, open is this way. So, we're going to close this uh, valve, take your can of CO2, screw it onto the bottom of here. After much difficulties, oh, sorry guys, not in the gold side, screw it in this side, you won't have as much issues. Make sure that thing's closed, screw that in there until you hear it. Oh, it's out. You can hear it starting to shoot come out. 
now we're gonna go back down here to the tire. Everything's tight. You hear that? That's pretty cool. Woo. Make sure you don't keep your hands on the skia tube tank because that shit's gonna hurt. That's pretty cool, dude. You see, that's just still frosty. You see that, guys? Still frosty. Huh. Stick your tongue to it. What does it say? Caution. Contains under pressure. Do not puncture. Oh, it says, don't touch it while you're filling your tire either. Let's see how much uh, air pressure we have on our tire now, guys. It's just from one shot of CO2. One shot of CO2, guys. So, let's see what we got out of one shot. Handy dandy kit comes with a thin uh, tire pressure gauge detector. Believe it or not, I got 40 psi out of it there. I don't think so. I think I got 4 psi. I think this uh, tire pressure gauge checker is a piece of shit too, but. Hey, we got four PSI in it, you know, that's, if, if that's what we got, that's pretty cool, I think. Um, so yeah, we're going to air the tire up the rest of the way with the air compressor. This is just an emergency kit for on the go. But I really suggest um, you go out and buy it from Walmart. Save you, save you once, you know, a tow trip or a tow truck, you know, if you're a do-it-yourselfer. I really recommend this. Pretty cool. It's a 13 piece kit. I think I paid five or six bucks for it at the local Wally Mart. Um, remember, if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a thumbs up. Tell me to so leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section. If there's something else you want to see on the channel, let us know down in the comment section. And until the next time, subscribe for more. Peace. Yo, dog, what's up? I just stab a bitch. You stab her? I stab her. I stab her with my dick. Stab her with my dick. Goddamn. Stab her with my dick.